Thank you for this day, Spirit. Thank you for this day. Thank you for this day, Spirit. Thank you for this day. This healing, healing, healing day. This healing, healing, beautiful day. I want to say thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Because I'm so grateful. <laughs> I just felt like singing this morning. Happy Sunday and welcome to Sunday Mornings with Tiffany. Oh, I'm so grateful for this day and every day. Now, you know what to do before we get started with the body vehicle is not you, but for you. Grab your favorite beverage, get comfortable, come back, sit down with me and join in on this conversation. I have my water. Oh boy, we're 70% water. The body loves water. Mm. Ah, that's always delicious to me. <laughs> it just is. The body vehicle is not you, but for you. You know, when we leave, when we transition, when the body gets tired, and it expires. We leave the body. I'm talking about transitioning and death and crossing over and all those other pointers we have for exiting the body. We exit the body because the body is not us, but for us. When we exit the body, we leave the body here right? Some people bury the body, right? Some people burn the body. There are some cultures that burn the body. That's what we do. We leave the body here. And that's because we're not the body. The body is not you, but for you. It's for you, for us to use in this physical world, for us to experience this physical reality or realities. So we need the body. We need the body to experience physical life. As spiritual beings, we want it to experience being human, being flesh, being in a physical form. So the body is a suit, it's a covering, it's clothing, but not us. The body is a communicator. It's intelligent, it has its own brain, it has its own knowledge, it's collected knowledge from all our past lifetimes, from experiences, from the beginning, from the beginning of humanity, maybe even before then. It's stored in our cellular memory for us to use. But the body is not us, but for us. It's a truth teller. The body serves the mind, so it follows the mind. So whatever picture that the mind creates from our thoughts and feelings and emotions and beliefs and perceptions, the body, yes, the body builds and creates that picture in 3D form. And the body communicates that to us. This is what you've been thinking about. And we've created it for you. I've created it for you. In the form of dis-ease. The body communicates to us what we are experiencing in the external world, in the outside world. You know, as, a, as an attorney, I love the body. 
when I'd have a, a witness on the stand and I'm cross-examining, I was cross-examining a witness. Everybody has a tail. I can poker. People pay attention to the body. And that's because the body's the truth teller. Even though the mind will lie and then the words out of our mouth will also be lies, the body tells the truth. That's how policemen, that's how lawyers, that's how people in poker games know when someone is not telling the truth. They look at the body. It's a truth teller. And there are many people in the spiritual community, seekers, what have you, who may have the perception or the belief that the body is an obstacle to enlightenment. And for me, enlightenment is just another way of saying awareness. But for me, experience. We, we experience awakening through the body, right? In meditation, in yoga, breathing, right? <laughs> we experience awakening through breathing and breathing can only happen through the body for us through we experience awakening through sex you can only have sex and experience pleasure with a body through the body so it's for us to use it gets us from a to b it's our home while we're here in this physical world, in this physical experience. But again, it's not us. It's an extension of our experience. It's an extension of the mind and the spirit. It's our friend. It's our confidant because it tells us what we're thinking, what we're feeling, what we're experiencing in the outside world. When I was preparing for this talk, I was looking at all these different quotes and I found some beautiful quotes. And I wanna remind you before I get to the quotes that we are spirit, emotions, mind, body, connection that if there if one if there's an issue with one of those aspects of us then that impacts all the other the body serves the mind the mind serves the spirit and I would say the mind serves the emotions, emotions serves the spirit. But mind and emotions can be as one which serves the spirit. All connected. So, this, this quote is absolutely right on point. This quote by living the way of knowledge. The purpose of the body is not to be beautiful. It is to be an instrument of communication, to be a vehicle and to participate in a physical world, in a physical reality, like an automobile. If it can get you where you need to go, it has done its job. <laughs> right on point. It's a vehicle for us to experience the physical world. Another quote, which goes to the, uh, to the truth that we are not the body or the body is not us. from Mahatma Gandhi. 
You can chain me. You can torture me. You can even destroy this body. But you will never imprison my mind. Quote by John Roan. Take care of your body. It is the only place you have to live. Friedrich Nietzsche. There is more wisdom in your body than in your deepest philosophy. The body vehicle is not you, but for you. Out of the body, we continue to live. So it's not you, but for you. It's for you to use while you're here, while you're in it, while you're experiencing. It's for you to expand and to grow through. For you to experience pleasure and pain through. It's for you to be aware of what the mind is creating because whatever is created in the mind will come to be in 3D form in the body. So pay attention to what you're thinking and feeling and fantasizing about <laughs> because it will come through and manifest in the body. You see, our bodies love and support us. The body has its own language, its own intelligence, its own knowledge, its own way of being. The body is not you, but for you. It's simply a vehicle. And I hope this conversation helps you to go deeper and think about the body, how it works, how it operates, how it's not you, but for you. Thank you for your time. Who loves you? I show enough love you. <laughs> the body vehicle is not you, but for you. Be grateful for the body. Love the body. Cherish the body. Treat the body well. Honor the body. Be grateful for the body. Namaste. Namaste.